Hi everyone and welcome to the Floss Marketing School. Today we are going to see how in Matomo you can create some uh, several properties for a given uh, website and then send the data within two different entities in Matomo Analytics such as you do with other vendors such as Google Analytics. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that you need to consider is uh, the, the following thing is that you have a documentation, which is the one which is over here, explaining you how you can send the data within two different websites in Matomo Analytics. And those two different websites uh, data are gathered from the same website, okay? So there are different ways you can do that in Matomo Analytics. The recommended way is to get what we call the premium feature named Rollup. So premium feature is a paid plugin in Matomo Analytics. And the advantage of going through this method is that it's going to copy the existing data uh, of the first, let's say, Matomo website that you are selecting. So that's very cool because it process all uh, the historical data. That's typically not the kind of thing that you can have in, in Google Analytics because uh, if you just uh, create a new property in Google Analytics or another view, it just starts from zero. That's not the case with uh, the rollup feature here in Matomo Analytics. But that's, that's the first thing. Um, the, method that we are going to see today is a method which is a cheap one so you don't need any premium feature for that but uh, the drawback is that it's going to duplicate the data within your Matomo's database so it's going to send twice data within the database and of course uh, it's going to make your database uh, bigger so in order to use this method all you need to do is change the general tracking code of Matomo Analytics so the general tracking code is the one that you get when you click here on the admin and that you look at uh, the tracking code so that's the one that you can uh, pick it up over here tracking code and yeah as you can see this is the general tracking code it's just sending the data to site id number one so in order to be able to send it into website of course you need to add another website in Matomo Analytics and you need to just say here after the set set ID one, you just need to say, okay, I'm gonna send it as well to website ID duplicate equal and this uh, additional number, uh, which represents the ID um, site of the property that you just created. And then you just add the pack uh, push ad tracker PWIC URL, uh, PWIC PHP website duplicate. Not as well that Matomo changed the name of uh, their solution some months ago so probably you want to change as well this given name and put matomo.php instead as it's matomo.php here okay um so uh yes let's move forward so in my case i just created uh two website one is called website property number one and one is called uh, website property number two okay those are the two that you can see over here and i have a tag manager so this is my tag manager that i named matomo generic code 28 and 29 and this is just a copy and paste of the lines that I just show you where I'm indicating here the 29 uh, which represent the second property I would like to send the data to metamod.php and that's it so if I just execute this given tracking code which is nothing more than an adapted copy of what you can see over here I will um, see in fact every time I'm going to look at any uh, URL so for example let's go and make um, of this page and let's go on April as well and you will see that here I have my two websites so website property number one if I just uh, refresh the page I'm going to see that those two additional pages have been recorded right you see that and you see that and that's the same thing if I go on website property number two and as a result you will see that the data have been sent and each of those given, I call them property, but in fact, in Matomo, you don't have anything named property as well. It's what we call website. You have for each mm -hmm. of those individual websites, the possibility to um, create uh, some, some measurable manage. You have the possibility somehow to create filters like in Google Analytics. It's just that they are defined a little bit differently. So that's, um, what I'm going to get on the next page. So you see website number, property number two and one more. They have their own settings over here. And in fact, for each of them, you can decide what are the given IP which is going to pass. Uh, so here, for example, I could just say, okay, do not let pass this given IP address. So those settings are linked to this given uh, website. So, okay, blah, blah, blah. I don't have any valid format, but one day I will. Uh, so I'm just going to 
at this, blah, blah, blah. And that should be right now. So as you can see now, this website property has a filter that this one doesn't have exactly like in, in Google Analytics. So it's kind of this concept, it's kind of the uh, view in Google Analytics. And this tracking code that you are creating when you add this given website is uh, the property. So that's the way Matomo works in comparison to uh, Google Analytics. And that's one way you can send with just one tracking code the data within two different websites in Matomo Analytics in order to somehow make a copy, even if it's not really a copy as it just starts to collect the data on the day on which uh, you deploy your tracking code. But to let you know as well that as you have a full access to the database of Matomo, uh, probably you can easily make a copy of one to the other one in order to uh, get all the historical data. And that's it uh, for the video of today. So once more, uh, feel free to uh, practice a little bit and feel free to use the uh, given tracker that I show you. And uh, once more, thanks for watching and do not hesitate to share your experience on social networks. Have a great day.